How's it going everybody? It's Leo again making another video for you guys. So for today, I actually have um, a five, my top 5 mods that I have done to my car that um, I think are stand out from the rest. So I'd say like the top 5 mods uh, that have uh, greatly improved uh, the, either the performance or whatever from the car from stock. So here we go. Also, I forgot to mention uh, this top five list. I'm going from like my least favorite to my most favorite from those top five mods I've done to my car. So yeah, let's get started. All right, so coming in at number five is uh, my head unit. Now I have a Kenwood DDX 770 uh, head unit. This is actually about eight years old now, so it's been a very long while since I have uh, upgraded this from the factory Bose head unit. Now the factory Bose head unit is very, it's a very, very good uh, OEM head unit. It has like a six CD changer. Um, and uh, I've heard from a lot of people that it's, it's actually last them uh, quite a while. They, they rarely go uh, bonkers. So they're a really good uh, head unit. However, um, I wanted to go touchscreen ha and have some uh, other functions that the OEM didn't have. So the reason why this is my top five, uh, my number five in my top five list, is because this has Bluetooth. Here's my mic, so whenever somebody calls me, I can just uh, talk to them through the mic here on my phone, on my car. Sorry. Uh, also, uh, this this uh, head unit actually has a, a, a DVD player. Now I know that's not like a huge deal. However, when I'm sometimes when I'm in traffic and all that, I'll just pop a uh, movie in there and just watch it while I'm in traffic, and it's kind of cool actually. How people kind of tend to like that function about my head unit. It also has the option of using a USB through this uh, little dongle right here, so you can uh, uh, listen to your music, change the background, and all that. Um, so yeah, so this is actually uh, like my my number five. It doesn't have to be this one. I just mean like a overall aftermarket head unit for your car. Um, keep in mind though, if you have the OEM Bose one, that's that's perfectly fine. However, if you're if you are planning on like getting a, a new one, like a replacement one, Bose for your car, make sure to contact your Acura dealership or the person that you buy from has the OEM key. It's like a code, so you can enter it into the radio and you can actually use it. If you don't have that code, you can't use an OEM Bose head unit on your car if it's not from your car. I'm also going to include uh, the links down in the description below to some of the um, parts I'm going to be talking about. So I'm going to leave in the description below some re recommendations I have for you if you're planning on getting like an aftermarket head unit. This one is since it's like eight years old, does not have um, either Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. So this is obviously like an old, uh, a pretty old head unit, an old example of it. But if you're planning on getting an aftermarket one, I'll link some in the description below that I think are pretty good deals and they're kind of worth it. So yeah. Uh, so I got, I kind of have a mess in my car and I actually removed my side seat because I'm doing some measurements or some things I want to do. So I got to clean this all up. However, for, so for my number four is actually my Buddy Club Short Shifter. For those of you that don't know, I actually do own a Buddy Club aftermarket shifter. It's not like the K-tuned one or the hybrid racing one that are our billet aluminum. This is actually a plastic box as well, like the OEM one. However, it has some adjustability for your throws. And I actually uh, really like the improvement overall from the OEM one to this one. So I'm going to show you what that kind of looks like here. Um... So there you can actually see, or I think you can't see, I would suck. Uh, yeah, there you go, the Buddy Club sticker on it. So this is, a, as I said, a Buddy Club short shifter. I picked it up for around, uh, I'd say maybe 160 bucks, I wanna say. It was a couple years back, so I don't really remember. However, the adjustability comes from that little sucker right there. Um, so it's like a, probably like a four millimeter, I think three or four, I don't remember, uh, millimeter Allen, and you can adjust how uh, long or short you want your, your gears to go. You can't adjust horizontally, however, you can adjust vertically. I kind of cared more about it being adjustable vertically, and for the price, I couldn't really complain. So I have it set to basically the shortest throw possible. However, uh, if you, if you um, adjust it all the way down, It'll be like the farthest th throws you can actually get from this Buddy Club shifter. So yeah, so for my number four, uh, I really recommend getting an aftermarket short shifter. If you don't want to spend $500 on the bill aluminum from K-Tuned or Hybrid Racing, 
highly recommend this buddy club one i would do a comparison for you guys but however i uh, sold my oem shifter so i can't really do that however i can tell you that the shifts are very very good with this uh, shifter they're very short in the in the adjustment i have it set right now and i think it's a pretty uh, significant improvement from stock uh overall I just really like it better so that's number four so for number three we can actually come over to the rear of the car um number three best mod i've done to my car at least in my opinion is my exhaust a lot of people actually ask me what the exhaust setup is in my car and i kind of laugh at that because it's not that uh special or anything at least in my opinion and i don't want to seem arrogant or anything honestly guys but i have to say i truly believe it's my opinion at least i have uh the best sounding rsx i've ever heard in person at least um, I, I wouldn't go as far as saying it uh, as it's the best sounding RSX ever, obviously. However, um, from the RSXs I've seen in person uh, in Puerto Rico here, I, 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 I'm hands down, my car is the best sounding car there is. Again, I don't want to be arrogant, it's just my opinion. Obviously, you could completely think another thing. But yeah, so my setup on my car is I have a DC Sports headers, which is actually not that good of a header. However, I bought the car with those headers and I never really got around to changing it or swapping it out. I don't really mind it that much. I know uh, if I would have changed it, I would have probably gotten more power when I tuned the car. However, I, I never really wanted to change it. So, so I got the DC Sports headers for two to one. Um, then I got it going down to custom three inch uh, piping. It's basically a straight pipe. I have a Magnaflow low restriction uh, resonator. I also then have, for the final piece, I have a three inch inlet uh, and four inch outlet for my uh, muffler. It's a vibrant TPV muffler. They actually call it a universal muffler, not sure why. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's the exhaust setup on my car. Um, I just put some clips of me revving the car because uh, it really doesn't have that much gas in it right now. You might also be wondering how much I paid for my exhaust setup. So the muffler was around $180 to $200, I believe. Um, the custom piping was about, I, th I think I want to say like $200, maybe $250. And then the Magnaflow resonator was around, I think, $120 or something. And then the DC Sports headers, I don't know because I bought the car with them. So that's so you're looking at around maybe like $500 for a decent uh, exhaust, maybe $500 to $600 without including the headers if you want to include headers it could jump probably to 800 900 dollars like 500 dollars for a headers is not unheard of and it's actually the price of a couple good ones um probably from skunk 2 and all that so yeah so for my number two i actually had a pretty bad time trying to decide which one i wanted it to be i was uh, between two things however i ended up deciding that my number two would be my tain coilovers so number two is my Tain coilovers. I actually own um, some um, Tain Street Advance coilovers. I picked them up for around $900, I believe, with shipping. Um, these coilovers have done me a really good job. Have done, have done me a solid, actually. I don't know if you can see them there in the back. You probably can't. Hold, hold on. There they are. So these coilovers have done me a solid over the years. I've had them for around four or five years, I want to say. Um, I really like them. I truly believe they were one of the better or most improvement uh, from stock when I installed them. Um, they can be expensive, depends on the brand you guys can uh, you guys get. Um, I do recommend maintain, however, they've done a great job on my car. So the improvement overall, I got to lower my car, improve the stance, the overall stance of the car. And the improvement in handling, guys, I kid you not, was amazing, honestly. The improvement when cornering was above and beyond. It's truly one of the best mods you can do to your RSX if it's stock. Um, and then if you have some aftermarket wheels and you lower it a little bit, it'll make the stance look so much more aggressive. Uh, so yeah, I really recommend you getting uh, Tain coilovers. Once again, I picked these up for around $900. They're adjustable height-wise. Um, and the compression, I don't really mess with that too much. Um, kind of did it when I mon mounted them, installed them, I want to say. Uh, but that was pretty much it. So for number two, once again, 
aftermarket coilovers. And I saved the best for last. Number one, guys, an aftermarket ECU. So right now, you're looking at my K-Tuner ECU for my RSX. Um, I got this when K-Tuner was just, was just barely starting out. I want to say I got this back in 2015, probably. I picked it up for only $300. Um, I don't have the end user ECU, ECU so I can't uh, tune it myself. I actually don't know how to tune, so I don't mind that. Um, so, so yeah, guys, uh, honestly, number one mod I've done to my car that I've seen the most improvement is honestly the aftermarket ECU. I had done a bunch of mods on my cars, like bolt-ons, uh, basic bolt-ons, really. Um, and when I did get a tune with my K-Tuner ECU, I saw the most gains I had ever seen in my car. And I had dynoed it before. But once I got around to tuning it, the difference was just unbelievable, guys. So, truly, I recommend, uh, as a number one, best mod that I've ever gotten from my car was the aftermarket ECU. It doesn't have to be a K-Tuner. You could get a K-Pro. As long or an AM one, as long as you have an aftermarket ECU, I think you're gonna get the biggest improvement you've ever seen on your car. So, yep, for number one, once again, aftermarket ECU. Uh, prices on it vary. Uh, right now, I think they're going for like 450 without the harness. If you want the harness, it's like $600, at least with the K tuner. If you're looking for the K Pro, it could get expensive if you own an 05 to 06 RSX, it could get into the $1,000 range, which is a bit much at least for me um if you're looking for a 04 to 02 to 04 rsx type s1 it's probably like 600 dollars. i want to say it's been a while since i've looked at the pricing so i'm not sure on that don't quote me on that i might look it up and just put it down in the screen here for you guys but yeah so for number one best mod i've done to my car aftermarket ecu so guys that is a wrap for today's video sorry i took a little while longer to upload this i was actually uh coming up with a few ideas for videos i actually did a poll on my channel and ask you guys what would you like to see on my channel uh, most of you guys said you would like to see some pulls on my car the reason i can't do some pulls right now is i still have a few kinks to work out in my car um right now it's it has this tiny little uh leak of for coolant it's dripping down um and whatever it's sitting at so i kind of want to get that fixed before i start going and doing some pulls on the rsx also i have to renew its registration I haven't done that so and since i don't really use the car right now i don't think i'm gonna do that for a little while so, uh, I've been at home stuck coronavirus quarantine <laughs> so uh, since I'm not using my car that much um, I don't really have a reason to put it on the street so that's the reason I haven't done uh, any pull videos however if you're interested on in seeing some pulls on my car I have a few videos of them I'm gonna link them up in the cars uh, up top so you guys can see those if you haven't uh, watched them already however I want to thank you for uh, watching this video guys uh, once again, I was going over the top five mods I've done to my car where I saw a, a big improvement over stock. Um, this is just my opinion, obviously. It's in no way, shape, or form some facts. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, thumbs up. Uh, make sure to comment if you have any questions and subscribe if you haven't already. I have a couple interesting ideas for some next videos. Uh, I have one that's coming up that is actually something completely different from what I uh, normally do. So I kind of hope, I'm, I'm kind of hoping you guys enjoy that one too. Anyways, guys, once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.